Hey everybody, here for the Facebook Live. And today I want to talk about femininity. Um, femininity is something that is an energy, right? We know this. And uh, masculine is an energy too. And they're, they're polarities with, it, with each other. So we are mostly, happy Tuesday, Mary Carol. We are mostly, most often, defaulted to the masculine. Why? Because we've had childhood trauma making us want to protect ourselves, take control of our life, and control everything, and put, tuck away the, the soft feminine, and tuck away the vulnerability of being feminine. There's a lot there. I'm not gonna go into it deeply. Uh, there's other reasons that we are stuck in the masculine more than not. Femininity isn't really um, valued in our society. Hey, Alkani. Hey, Angela. Nice to see you all. Um, it's not valued in our society. Beingness, femininity, slowing down, allowing, surrendering is not valued by our society. You know what's valued by our society? Go, do, um, uh, set goals, push yourself, compete. Those are valued. And what we're not realizing is we're shooting ourselves in the foot by overdoing. And society also values women to overgive. So this is where we are so confused when, when, well, my clients are confused and I used to be confused when I realized that men are the givers in a relationship. Yeah, confusing, right? Because we've been taught from day one that women are the givers. And yes, we naturally give and we don't have to stop giving. But what has happened in our society and in this patriarchal system is that we have been taught to value overgiving and overdoing and saying yes when we mean no. Like um, more, more to the point of, you know, overdoing and saying yes to more and more things so that you look good or so that you, you know, um, are valued, right? So this is what I'm here to help undo. I want to um, help you guys realize that beingness and surrender and letting go and allowing, right? Allowing others to do their thing. Allowing the dishes to be dirty, but if you need a break, you need a break. That kind of allowing of the world to just unfold is a very feminine trait and it actually makes us very strong, right? The feminine is, is, has been demonized to being weak. This is part of the oppression, the oppressive um, agenda of the patriarchy. And if, uh, if you want to learn more about this, there's an amazing book by a woman named Mama Gina is her like stage name, but her, um, her, Real name is Regina Tomasur, and she wrote a book called Pussy. And this book is more about femininity and connecting back to your deepest core of who you are than it is about your actual body part. Um, there's some stuff in there, but it's very valuable and good. But it's more talking about the patriarchy and how we've been oppressed. We can't even say the word pussy. This is why she chose the word. You know, the word pussy has such a connotation for us like oh like awkward or uncomfortable or sexual or all of that and that is um that is her point right she's shocking us but the book itself is a must read for every single woman it is it it resonates hard if you're wanting to come more into your femininity and connect back to who you are, your intuition, your storm, your stormy side, um, and the validation of having been oppressed for so many generations, right? This is in ourselves. We are fearful. I was sharing on our, our challenge live call earlier today, I was sharing about how um, 
we are so fearful of expressing our femininity because in, in the past, you know, centuries ago, we were actually burned at the stake. We were killed. We were hunted and murdered for having intuition, for following our gut, for practicing feminine practices, for having rituals with women, dancing, singing, having a red tent circle, having ritualistic circles that, you know, connected us to our divinity. The, we were burned at the stake for this. This lives in every single one of us in our cells, in the DNA, in the memory of our cells. And this, you know, this practice of coming back into femininity is a way to heal that. And we've lost touch with it, which is such a tragedy and we have grief around it. This is partially why we feel so unsettled and so sad and down sometimes when we're overworked and underappreciated, when we're overdoing, when we're over masculine and not enough uh, getting nurturing from, from our femininity, when we're underslept. You know, women need tons more hours of sleep than men generally do. Like if you have an exact man and woman, you know, same age, same weight, same whatever lifestyle, a woman will need, I, I forget exactly, sorry, you can look it up. It's, it's, I, I'm not a very exact uh, person when I, when I bring up stats, but, um, but it is there. Women need way more sleep than men. And, you know, in our society, that's not honored. We're seen as lazy if we sleep more. But for me, when I sleep well, and when I sleep more, and when I sleep the exact right amount for me, I am like this. I'm vital. I'm happy. I want to give to the world. I can give so much more. And that's taken away from us when we're overworking. So then you're, you're just like pushing paper around, like metaphorically to to look like you're working but you're actually way less productive you're tired you're frustrated you're resentful right so um so these are all the things that our generation of new feminine goddesses thanks for the hearts and likes alchemy especially um these are this is now our time to step into that hi conti i know that you just joined nice to see you here so we are the leaders in this movement to reclaim our femininity, reclaim the woman within. In fact, I had a, a course that I led years ago um, that, uh, that was named that, Reclaim the Woman Within. Um, and so that is my goal, is to help all of you to come along with me to reclaim that woman within, to reclaim that femininity, to reclaim your birthright, to be connected to your divine feminine um, essence. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post them right away in this second. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to maybe put them together so that it looks like one video. Um, and other than that, I'm going to let you go if there's no questions or comments. We can, of course, chat further in the chat below. I will be posting uh, the challenge. It's not too late to join. You can still register and catch up.